hold on. Did you see? Did you see the thing between between Cobra and and Shakur? Yeah, I see that. Yeah. word. What's happening with that? Yo, Who they talking. Flat. They talking hold spicy. On. Flat. Who was the first person to put it out there? You Say did. It. You did. That's a fact. Uh, last year, that I think it was like fact. last year, yes, or like did. almost three years ago. I said I want to see Chris. You, you know what? You you know what? You know what? I don't. You know why? I, a lot of times I stay quiet in the sport because you get easily killed in this game by having your opinion. I feel like, yeah, yeah. you're a fighter though, bro. Your opinion. Listen, Norb's opinion count. Your opinion count. My opinion count. Norb's is Norb's is analyzing boxing now. You're a boxer. This this is what you grew up doing. Wait, bro. Norbs used to box? No, no, no. no but he analyzes. Yeah. yeah, but he he analyzes the sport. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me, I did both. I I, I box and I and I and I analyze right. the sport. So right. our opinions count, bro. Hold Some on. people who opinion don't count got no business. Saying no crazy shit. No, I kind of, I yo, as crazy, I like B-Hop, and B-Hop is becoming a different... That's the thing, though. B-Hop is coming a different animal now, son. B-Hop is becoming a different animal. B-Hop is not the same B-Hop two years ago. Mm -mm. But, yeah. but Shakur Stevens... I, yo, listen, Shakur Stevens is one of my favorite fighters right now. Um... He's just so like, man, he's so technical, smooth with it, precise. He's patient. I don't know about his punching power. I mean, he mm. hurts people. So he's got to have some type of power. But I think what helps him is him being precise. His defense, he's the lowest. Um, He's been hit the lowest percentage of any boxer in the history of of, of boxing at, at to the point where he's at right now. His defense that's what, is crazy. That's, that's what they say. I'm just saying. His, his defense okay. is crazy. Facts. What do, who do you think wins? Let's break it down. Who do you think wins, Chris versus Shakur? Come on. I like, I like, I like Chris, bro. He just showed me more versatility. Biased, he, I know. He I kind of feel like you want to say Stevens, though. But you I'm, know, you don't get I'm, killed. I'm, everybody know I'm biased. Brooklyn, Brooklyn cat, not me, and that's my boy. I kick it with him. That's my boy. But his versatility, to me, is starting to. Put him on another level. Well, a lot of people Facts. felt like a lot of people felt like Chris didn't have power, and his last fight, he fought a good fighter, and he was fucking rocking him, bro. He was very. Yeah. You know yeah, that's the question. I, yeah. Are you allowed to be a real person and be biased? Yes, you can do whatever you want on this. Like, side. like yeah. me. I mean, but look, like you're real. You claim you say, like you real. You speak how it. I, I'm not throwing shots. I'm just saying because yeah, I'm nice. guilty of that too. I just want I want to get some analyzers, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I, I, if people's listening to this and they're gonna listen back, this is something good to know. Um, are you able to be called like a realist and say, "Ah, right, yeah, I'm real. I'll call it how it is." And then, are you able to do the and be biased? Yeah, it's how you it's how you do it. It's contradicting. You just you just have to you just have to admit that you're biased, but you got to be yeah, real you got to be honest. honest. You got to be see, honest. See, my breakdown with the Chris fight is this: I feel like. Chris is a better offensive fighter than Shakur Stevenson. I feel like they got two different approaches. I feel like Chris is a tough kid. I feel like Chris likes to mix it up. I haven't seen Shakur do that. If he was to fight Shakur, he would have to be on him all day. Like if, if he tries to make it like, a dull fight. Yeah, if, if he tries to try to box him or if he's not gonna win that fight. He really has to be on him, but he's slick, bro. Shakur Stevenson is slick. But I don't think Shakur could hurt Chris. And I feel like that could be a problem. That could be a problem, bro, because he could hurt he could hurt Shakur. I believe, I believe. So too. I feel like that Shakur in that fight is going to have to land something early in order to keep Chris off of him. And Chris is going to have to really stay on top of him and, and keep the pressure on him because nobody's been able to break that defense yet. But I think Chris will be the most skilled fighter that he's fought. He could do it. He could do it. If he come in shape, he could do it, bro. He just better not have pink hair when he fights him. But other than that, I believe uh -huh. if Chris, I think Chris could pull it off. And I think, and it's crazy. When I called it last year, niggas was thinking I was crazy. I was like, uh, he got the hand speed. That's going to give him a problem. He has very good uh -huh. hand speed. He's aggressive. And I don't think Shakur could hurt Chris. I don't think Chris is going to be worried about getting hurt by Shakur Stevenson. That's just I thought you was bugging when you brought it up. Everybody thought I was. I said, I see it happening. But I think, and I, this is what I said, I think Shakur is going to duck the fight. 
I feel like oh, it's too dangerous. He's already once fighters say you ain't is level citizen, you ain't on my level. That's already like a cop out, like you know. What how, I'm saying? But how can how can how can Shakur say that to, to to Chris? That doesn't even make sense. How based on what? What are you basing that off of? That you went to the Olympics? Of course, I, I, that makes no sense. So you're gonna keep fighting? There's you have not for anybody with the skill set of Chris. Right, no, nah, you know, flat. You said that too, though. Once you Olympic, once you win the Olympics, it puts you on a different level. Though. No, right. absolutely. It Listen, does. but so so it is. He he has the right to use that actually. Okay, yeah, but he cannot. He cannot say that he's fought anybody with the skill set of Chris Colbert. None. Yeah, yeah. None. Yeah. Chris would be his most dangerous fighter unless he's gonna fight like a Lopez. That's true, true. And and you know what's crazy? I'm seeing this kid, his mental, his confidence. He's a fucking prick. I, I don't him. know. I don't know what he does, but if he, if if but his confidence, like if he psychs him, himself out to believe, you know what I'm saying? Think that's what he does, or he's just that confident. No, Chris is a. Con mm -hmm. I met Chris like years ago in a barbershop, shop. Right, this is right before he turned pro. He he cuts his hair with my boy Elvin, and I'm watching him talk. He's a cocky motherfucker. Like, I'm like, yo, this nigga's confident. But you got to be in the sport of boxing. You got to be, you know, you got to, you know, you got to go out there. But I, I it's believe. It's a fine line. It's a fine oh, line yeah. between cocky. He he's a, he's a, yo, he's a prick, bro. That's no. my guy. But yeah, he's he's a a, prick. he know he's a prick. But you got to understand, too, when you're walking around and your name is primetime, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? You have to be that way. You have to be brash. He's literally taking an image of, of think about it. He's taking an image of Deion Sanders in a sense, right? Who's his favorite, whatever athlete? Who was brash, talked a lot of shit, but backed it up on the field was the best. He's gonna, he's. I believe, I believe that he's going to get under Shakur Stevenson's skin, and Shakur Stevenson's gonna either have to duck him blatantly or take the fight. Bro, but he's not gonna get under Stevenson's skin. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You know why? Because, because he's a talker. He could talk, bro. And and bro, he has the people behind him. I believe. I mean, I think the Al Heyman and the fucking top rank situation is probably not going to allow it to happen, but I think that he's going to be able to piss Shakur Stevenson off enough that he's going to have to take the fight or, or be, look like he's scared. Who else would Shakur Stevenson fight right now? I don't want to see him fight no more fucking... I'm not going to call him bums. I'm, I'm champ. I got you. But I don't want to see... I want to see somebody that he fights. Yeah, you can say, no, it's okay. It's okay. You're an analyst, so you can say yeah, that. I'm, I'm, Flash, I'm just, Flash just solidified you right now. <laughs> Yes, I appreciate Flash it. just solidified you right now, you heard? So you Listen. can pull him up, man. <laughs> Listen, if I'm Chris, right, I'm fucking tagging him. The next interview I do, I'm doing... And Chris is that type of dude that he's going to... I don't continue. think... I don't think he... I don't think um, Cobra want to fight him right now. I think he does. No. Nah, if he beats... Right think now. about this. I'll, I'll tell you why. Chris is getting... Out of all of the... People that are as talented as Chris, he's getting the least of, of, of the promotion right now. There's so many other fighters that are getting more promo than him. If he's able to, to bring this nigga out and beat him, bro, he's gonna he's arguably gonna be the top fighter out there. Yo, bro, he got an interim world Cobra got an interim world title right now. WBA mm -hmm. interim mm -hmm. at 130. Yeah. It wouldn't make sense for him to fight Shakur right now when he could get a real he could he could become the real world champion. Right, oh, listen. and then and then fight him, solidify okay. that first, mm -hmm. and then fight. Take the big fight. You Don't fight the big fight right you now. You and I you both know, know. You and I both know that belts are a little overrated, right? A lot of guys make not money necessarily, bro, because they do put you on a different plateau no, and a different do. pay grade. They do. As a boxer, as a purist, you want to be the champion, right? Obviously, but my nigga, I'd rather fight Shakur Stevens, who's probably the the most talked about dude, the top dude in top rank, beat him and then go for the belts. Why wouldn't you? Nah. Your money's going to go way high. So you're telling me if nah. he gets a belt, hold on, hold on. So you're going to tell me if he gets a belt, right, his money will be greater if he gets a belt as opposed to beating Shakur Stevenson? You're bugging. He, he, why, why go for the risk? Why go for the risk like that now? We can solidify his world because, yo, the game is so messed up now, bro. Once you get a loss, they make it like your career is over. I so hear you. it's not no guarantee that he could beat Shakur, bro. Absolutely. There's no, look, I, I hear you, but if you're that confident, if you feel like you got the game plan to beat him, my nigga, look, look what I'm look going what, with the short shot. Let me get my belt first. Let me get yeah, my real world title first. Let me get my paycheck. Let me get you my may may paycheck, bro. I, I hear you, but you may be chasing him for the rest of the night. You could go from here to superstar overnight and then choose No, your but, but it's not a guarantee, bro. I need it's that guarantee. guarantee. 
Nothing's a guarantee. Is it guarantee he's gonna win a world title, bro? If Absolutely. he fight, if he fight a lower level guy for that, okay. for the WBA, he's gonna win it, bro. How many guys hold belts that don't get the biggest fights? There's a lot of them. But he got the name in the belt, and he got he got the big guy of uh, Al Hamid behind. From 130 to 135, there's a bunch of names now, bro. You ha- right. There's a bunch. He's bro. He's not mentioned with Tiafimo and Lomachenko. Those is one thirty five. Those one thirty five. I'm saying one thirty, but everybody compares the one thirty to one thirty five guys. They always compare. They want to see them fight. That's what I'm saying. But dog, like Chris should be viewed higher. I think Chris. He has to get a belt. He's very talented. Huh? He got to get a real. He got to get a real belt. That's yeah. like the kid Roly that sound with Floyd. He got the WBA interim at one thirty five. They don't mention him. Not at all. Don't mention him with the other guys. And, 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 you know, Chris called him out, too. He said his name should be, uh, what he said? Uh, his name should be, um, what's that fucking G-Shock instead of Roley? Like, he was coming at him, too. Oh. He, was, he was coming at him. I I'm not it. too impressed with Roley. He got crazy power, but. You, see, he, I heard he got crazy power. And it's funny because the fight I saw, I told Fly, I said, bro, who is this nigga? Like, he didn't even look like whatever. And Chris that night said that. He said his name should be G-Shock instead of Roley. I would pay to see that. <laughs> I'd pay to see. I like you know what's crazy? You know what I like about Roly? I'm I not got, a big fan I got Chris. I got, I got Chris. I got, I got Chris beating pretty much everybody, except for maybe if he goes up at 135 fights like a TFEMO or something like that right now. But um I'd like to see it. And I, what I like about Roly is Roly sells the fight. You know what I'm saying? I like what Devin Haney's doing now. Devin Haney, he got a million dollars worth of game. He was talking his shit. Like that's what's gonna it's gonna have to almost become WWE. He was doing too much though, bro. I mean, I like the kid. You know what I'm saying? I've been around him for years. I like the kid. I've been around Roly too. Roly is no. He, he's know a what nut. Mean? He's hilarious. Yeah, he's he is he's who he nut. is, but Devin Haney in that interview with Gilly, he was doing too much, bro. Like I wouldn't brag about being Floyd Mayweather up and sparring and all. Yeah, I would never do that. Bro. He did do that. That's what I said when I wouldn't brag about Zap Judah, and that was exactly. something I looked up to. Right, that's a legend, that bro. You don't do that. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's get back to this 130, 135. I don't want to go to Ro- who uh, if Chris doesn't fight him, right? Who does he fight? Does he go up? Does he stay at 130? Who does he it fight don't at matter. He gets he the fight? belt. He gets the belt at 130. I think he should stay at 130 for a while and make it make it his weight class. Right, get the belts. Get the belt. Get the belts, bro. Solidify think, your spot, bro. Solidify Chris, that. Chris is thinking like his name, prime time, bro. He wants to be. Chris, listen, this, from talking to Chris, no, and, and I think again, you're I, thinking like that for him. No, no, no. no I'm gonna no, no, no. Listen, to, I'm, listen to me. Meeting Chris, right? When I met Chris, I, I'm, I've, I've spoken a few times. Whatever. That nigga is, and and he's very confident, bro. He wants that light, bro. It's not a, only about championships with him. He wants, bro. You don't name yourself. Prime time. You don't show up with pink fucking hair. You don't show up like Camacho in the ring if you don't want that attention. And in order to get that attention, my nigga, you're going to have to draw one of these niggas out. All, and all that is the want. image. The image is dope. The image okay, is yeah, dope. the image. Right. Okay, okay what's but, the difference? Hold on. Look at Ryan Garcia. Why do you think Ryan Garcia has eight fucking million followers? Ryan is Garcia he? ain't fought nobody, though. And, except eight million followers. and he's making, he makes more money than all these niggas. Right, so so why not go the route Ryan Garcia went? That's what he's doing. Right, he, that's what he's fighting, doing. Though. Fighting Shakur Stevens is not going the route Ryan Garcia went. But Ryan, no, right. Ryan Garcia is a model. He's a fucking model, bro. He's a fucking Abercrombie and Fitch model. Like he's trying to get people tuned into him. And so you, you, you trying to say B Hop is ugly? That's what you trying to say? No, right, he's just not as good looking as Ryan Garcia. I think he's a what handsome you young fellow. He's a handsome young fellow, but he's not Ryan Garcia. You know so you saying B Hop is ugly compared to Ryan Garcia? Yes, I am. I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> B Hop, chill, bro. I got you. Bro, I, I know. Like, I remember. You set yourself up. You said, I remember being at, I forgot what fight. I was with uh, my man Glaza. I was at his fight. And, oh, no, I was with him at the fight. And I I know he craves that attention, bro. He wants to be, and that's why I respect Chris so much. He wants to be the name in boxing, bro. He don't want to be like that me, none of these niggas. He wants to be the nigga they talking about. He has that ego, bro. Even like when you talk, when I you know when I talk to him, everything you see it in him, bro. He wants that shit. He loves it. He craves it. Bro. <clears throat> Yo, you, know, you know what worries me a little bit? I was listening to him. Um, I think he's an animal. And he's young, but and he's taking the route like James Tony. But he does. He says he doesn't jog. 
He was talking. He told me that. <laughs> he was talking to me, bro. Yeah, I don't think I, know, I ever heard him say that in no other interview. Why, why did he, why did he say that? He 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 said he don't do road work. Why not? He don't believe he it. He, he said he don't believe in road work. What do you, you guys? I don't box. I, I clearly I'm not in shape. Um, what, what what do you? How do you think that's gonna affect him? Because I will be honest, when I seen him in his last fight, he didn't look winded. Nothing. He was fucking letting him fly. I believe in road work. That's for me too. Okay, but you know what, Jim Tony, I think he didn't believe in world work like that too. I think he used to spar a lot mm-hmm. instead of running. He believed getting in shape sparring. I think right. he did an interview like that. So I think he's like, I thought of James Tony when B Hop said that. Mm-hmm. But look at his career. Mayweather is one of the best in runs. Ali one of the best in runs. Listen, I'm not saying Gober can't be one of the best, but I'm just saying the best people ran. Mm-hmm. You, had, you, had, you had um Diaz from Houston, Texas. He didn't run. He beat Paulie, I think, or something like that. Or Paulie mm-hmm. beat. Oh, Juan Diaz. He didn't. He didn't used to run. Only stairmaster and swim. That's crazy. You're right. He did swim. You're right, bro. You're right. You're right. Yo, you. But you know, swimming is a good replacement for running. Right. Mm-hmm. I I don't believe in it though. I believe in also even if you don't run every day. I believe you gotta run. You gotta put those miles in. That's my that's my belief. If he says he B hop swims, does he does he gotta do something else? Because swimming, a lot of people choose swimming over running because it's less pain on your joints and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Less wear and tear. Huh? But you know what? Everyone's body's different, though. If that's what works for B Hop, he's showing us that's what works for him. So right. we he's can't knock right. him for that. It's just like we it's just weird for us to, to hear that. Bro, I'll tell you this right. right now. His last fight, he looked he looked stronger than I've ever seen him. Like he literally physically Is meant he training like, with David. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Sure. Is he training with that conditioner, Dave? Dave, David. Oh, you talking about Scooter? Yeah, Scooter. He's training with Scooter? No, I don't think yeah. he trained with Scooter. Mm. So, all right. He trained with Scooter. Let's give, our, let's give our decision. You got Chris winning. You're biased. You're from Brooklyn. Who do you got? You know, I, I'm biased. I, I, go, I like Chris, but I'll give the edge to um to Shakur. You're from Newark, aren't you? <laughs> Brooklyn. I'm, I'm your neighbor, bro. <laughs> you from Central Park? I'm Borough Park. You heard? I'm your neighbor. You heard? I'm showing up once it gets hot because I don't like I don't like the fucking cold. I'm going to Prime Time Chicken. I'm gonna get me a twenty piece wings with this asshole, and we're gonna Yo. go over there. We're gonna talk to Chris. We're gonna go over there. I'm going to get some Yo, Prime listen, Time. His joints look kind of good. His mac and cheese was looking crazy, but I read up on the reviews. They said it was whack. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so that was a hated ass comment. Yo, <laughs> yo, Shem, see, that's the problem with that's the problem with boxes right there, man. The, your pride and ego made you say that shit, bro. Nah, no, 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 no. Listen, I'll, I'll, if it's just chicken, whatever, I'll try it out. I guess, bro. That was some hated shit, bro. That was no, no. <laughs> He's gonna be like, yo, I heard this nigga's. Nah, I hope, I hope, I hope, but nah, his joints look kind of even. His mac and cheese look delicious. I was like, yo, they be seasoning joint. I never seen mac and cheese.